Um, but just let's have a look again now at that moment last Thursday when the public order unit moved in. Now you were there, Aoife, when, when that happened. Um, now you, your, your contention here is that there was shouting, but nothing else prior to the public order unit moving in. Yeah, so I was there at the side. Um, I was at a, in a ditch at the side. Um, and I know definitely for at least five minutes before, or longer before, but I was there and I stood there and there was no one throwing anything. There was no one touching guards or anything. The public order unit, the soft caps were there. And then suddenly these vans arrived, they pulled in, and to be honest, we thought they were the immigrants coming in. So that's why everyone was looking and saying, oh, here they are, welcome them. And they walked around and stood behind. They gave no warning to get out of the way. They gave no prior um, knowledge. And it was like charge and bash. And I know, that's what I remember happened. the first thing you said when you were in with us the last time, that you had never been in a protest never in Never been your life. in a protest. And Casey's like, I'm traumatised by this. I haven't been back up to the protest since Thursday night. Like, I was standing there in the ditch. I saw them walk around and I saw them use their shields and force people off the road. Suddenly it was clear, I was up, so the road was clear. They had pushed them on up to the main gate, up to our camp. And I looked and I saw this man and he was... I'm going to ask you just to be very careful now because, again, I... Uh, there is going to be legal uh, yeah, yeah, proceedings yeah, no, around but, uh, this. So. No, there was a man on the ground uh, after being forced, forced and he was lying there with his eyes closed and I realised it was my father-in-law. And he was forced to the ground and hurt and he had to get in an ambulance that night and he spent the night and the day in hospital because of the riot squad. He was standing there peacefully protesting he didn't do anything wrong. He is highly involved in the community and he was forced to the ground. And that is not right at any level. There is people with bruises pe being pepper sprayed. Like, all they had to do was talk to us. That's all we wanted was someone to speak to us. Okay. Like, that's all we wanted. Okay, thank you for that, Eva.